There are three rules when drawing mirror ray diagrams. We'll go ahead and explain these and then we'll show some pictures so you can understand what we're doing. First of all, we're going to line up the top of the object parallel to the principal axis. We're going to draw a ray from the top of the object to the mirror. The light ray reflecting back to the left will be along a line connecting the point of intersection with the mirror and the focal point. Again, we will demonstrate all this. If you line up the top of the object with the focal point and draw a ray from the top of the object to the mirror, the light ray reflecting back to the left will be along a line connecting a point of intersection with the mirror parallel to the principal axis. So these first two rules are kind of like opposites of each other. The first one, go in parallel to the principal axis, reflect through F. Go in on a line through F, reflect parallel to the principal axis. So those first two rules kind of opposites of each other. The last rule is if you line up the top of the object with the center of curvature, you head towards the mirror, when you reflect back, you reflect along a line through that same center of curvature. Now, there are three rules, but you only need two of them to locate your image. Let's define what we mean by a real compared to a virtual image. A real image is one in which the rays really intersect. They actually intersect. That's why they call it a real image, because the rays that are reflected really intersect you can project a real image onto a screen. With a virtual image, the reflected rays appear to intersect, but they don't in real life. You can't project it on a screen. So let's do some examples here. Here we have a convex mirror. So the center of curvature would be on the right. The focal point would be halfway in between the center of curvature and the mirror. So little f is the focal length. Rule number one says if we start out at the top of the object and we go parallel to the principal axis, the light ray is going to bounce back to the left here. Now, in what direction does it bounce back? That's what our rules tell us. And the answer is that it will bounce back as if it came from the focal point. So that's how we knew to angle this reflected ray in that direction. Go in parallel, bounce out along a line that goes through the focal point. Rule number two says, start at the top of the object, head for the focal point. But this blue light ray isn't going to hit the focal point because it's going to bump into the mirror first. When it bumps into the mirror, in what direction does it reflect back? it reflects parallel to the principal axis. So rule number one, indicated by the red line, go in parallel, bounce out through the focal point. Rule number two, head towards the focal point, bounce out parallel. Now, there are only two rays that are required to find our image. So this should be enough. So what we do is we look at our reflected rays, which are this one up here with the arrowhead, and this one down here with the arrowhead. And we ask ourselves, do those converge? Clearly the answer is no. If they converge, great, then we're done. We'll meet that case later. If they don't, then the next thing we're supposed to do is we are to project the reflected rays behind the mirror. So that's what I've done here. I've taken the reflected rays, and I've projected the reflected rays back. Don't project the incident rays back, you project the reflected rays back. And there is our image. If we wanted to do rule number three, it would be this. Start at the top of the object, head for the center of curvature. But when you hit the mirror, bounce back along that line. So there is our third reflected ray. If we were to project that reflected ray back, you can see that any two of those rays will our image. So this is a smaller, upright, virtual image. It's smaller, it's upright, and it's virtual. There's no light that actually gets back here because the light hits the mirror and bounces back to the left. 
so that's why we call it a virtual image. What if we have a log? Rule number one says go parallel to the principal axis, reflect through the focal point. Rule number two says go through the focal point, reflect parallel to the principal axis. Then examine the reflected rays and you can see that those intersect right there. Where those rays started right here, that was the top of the log. So where those rays intersect, that's the top of the log, which means this is going to be an inverted real image. Those light rays really do intersect right there. It turns out that all real images are always inverted, and that all virtual images are always upright.